the mountains were created. Okay? And this one was east and west with a mountain line. Gold is here. Silver is here. I know where it is in the same same hole. You know? One you go to the right, one you go to the left. Which one do you want? Mm-hmm. Neither one, because gold and silver is not the most precious thing here. You know? Um, what is the most precious thing oh here? Oh my gracious. It's the many, many demonstrations over countless of years of the love and the peace that was found at this place. That is the absolute most important thing that this place has to offer. And it is touched by God because Creator manifested here not once, not twice, but many, 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 many times over the course of hundreds of years. And when they came together in the right way, the tribes When they prayed, and they fasted, and they sat in council, and they had a good time, uh, then they would come together in a big circle, big, big circle. There was no animosity between them, They, they did so. And then they held hands. And the moment they touched in this way, Something, somehow, some power, some energy, some electric force came through each and every one of them in that circle, all at the same time, in the same instant. Mm-hmm. And they, they had a knowing. It was a gift, the gift of life that they were given. Uh, they, they knew it, all of them. And they felt the beautiful place of peace was within them. And they would go home, they'd take a lot of the pretty things that they found here, you know, uh, the pretty crystals and, and the water and the clay, the healing clay is wonderful. And the healing herbs, herbs grew here higher, more potency than any place because of the water constantly coming, you know. And it was like a garden. Eden, flowers everywhere, all the time. But they would take all these things home, but the one thing that they held up higher than anything else to to give away to their families and to their friends, they didn't pick up off the ground. They learned it, they knew it, they felt it, They, they had it. And it was part now of their own DNA and they shared it and many tribes that didn't understand you know some knew immediately and they began to not only know it they began to practice it secrets of life many of them came here from here not just the prophecies of the rainbow and most of the stories about Manatak are all about love. About a man and a woman meeting each other in a sacred place and falling in love and getting married. Two souls come together in one place. <laughs> that's, that's mostly what Manatak is about. It's about history. It's about the future too very much Mm -hmm. because uh, one day this place will be an island or I should say a refuge, a a safety place because, uh, well, um, here there is inexhaustible amounts of clean, crisp water but it is so far down. It's the birthing water. It was here first. The lake that it makes is the biggest lake in the world. None, 30 miles down. Goes from 
roughly south of Memphis, Tennessee, on a line. And then it goes all the way down into Alabama, Louis, uh, over to Mississippi, over to Louisiana, and then over to Texas, and up into Oklahoma, and comes to almost Tahlequah, and comes down the river, crossing on both sides and underneath, far, far underneath, like like this way. And it follows right on back down to Memphis, all the whole way. So that volume is, is tremendous. Now, scientists, hydrologists, because of their equipment, are not really able to map, map all of it, especially its depth. They don't know what its depth is. They will conjecture, but very quietly, because they're in the academia, and they're going to be held to the fire. We can say what our ancestors have said before, and that is that it is thousands of feet down, and it is thousands and thousands of feet deep. Water, from the top of the surface of the water. So then it would be protected from the fracking is that correct? Well, let's hope so. I'm but remember, that. whatever you do to the Arkansas aquifers, which this is called, you do to you do to the whole oh. expanse. Yes. So, um, fracking's got to go. <laughs> well, I don't know much about that. You know what it is. I know what it is, and I understand kind of what it is. And I understand the dangers that are involved. And I also understand the other side of the coin. That is, it's ours, we want it, give it to us now. It's mine. Mm. <laughs> it's mine. And so they take it. That's been going on a long time in a lot of places. <laughs>